In this demonstration, we'll show you the new palette editor view. Designed to offer quick access to the XML schema components, the palette view improves the usability of the XML schema diagram builder, allowing you to drag components from the palette view and drop them into the design page. Components are organized functionally into four collapsible categories – basic components, compositors and wildcards, directives and identity constraints. In our demo project, we need to extend an already existing XML schema, which is Purchase Order XSD, to validate an XML document that holds purchase order data. In its current state, the schema contains the definition of the address complex type with three elements, country, city and street, and the purchased item element with three elements, product name, quantity and price. Now let's take a look at the structure of our XML file. We need to define a root element with two attributes, a purchase ID and the date when the order was recorded into our system. To create a purchase order element, we drag the element component and drop it in the design page. Insert a new name and hit enter. Now we'll add its attributes. First is the simple type purchase ID attribute. This is a required attribute, so we uncheck the optional property. Note that the use attribute changed its value from optional to required. To set the attributes type, we drag a simple type component from the palette view and drop it in the design view to connect it with the purchase ID attribute. Then we change the type of the attribute to access ID. In a similar way, we define the date attribute. Now we need to define two address type elements that hold the billing and shipping information. We add the ship2 and bill2 elements and set their type to an already defined PO address complex type. The element type can be set either by dragging the complex type from palette view and drop it in the design page or by dragging the address complex type and dropping it over the element component. Next, we need to define an items element that might contain one or many item elements. We use the palette components to create the items element. Now we drag the item element and connect it to items element, then we set its arity to unbounded. Now the schema is complete and we validate the XML file against it. This concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.